uh, for instance, as the sea ice retreats in the summer now, uh, you're getting a lot of wave action within the Arctic Ocean. And that's producing, when that combines with storms, you're getting now lots of coastal destruction. Uh, Inuit villages just being swept away, um, land being swept away. Um, and that's, that's going to get worse. Uh, and then there's the fact that permafrost is melting and the biggest threat I think is is the offshore permafrost which is where there's, there's the, the permafrost offshore is simply a thin layer holding down a mass of methane uh, in the form of methane hydrates which could c all come out and produce a, a gigantic uh, disaster but on top of that you've got the, the, the continuing change which is because due to permafrost on land uh, thawing and then the the resulting vegetation type uh, water watery vegetation uh, then generates methane and as well as other gases so you, you're going to have a, a continuing emission of methane from the from Asia and North America as as the permafrost retreats, um, it's the total amount that can come out is about the same as the Arctic offshore, but it be much slower, and there's more opportunity for some of the methane to oxidise and disappear. So it's it, it's not really such a dire threat as the Arctic offshore methane, but but it is it is still a, a threat which means that methane is going to be more of an element in climate change relatively than, than it used to be relative to carbon dioxide. But methane is much more powerful greenhouse gas, isn't it? Uh, yes, it's um, per molecule it, it's 23 times as powerful as carbon dioxide. And um, what that means is that if methane is coming out on, in, in, a, in a plume, for instance, as, as it's doing already in the East Siberian Sea, it makes sense to, to burn it, to flare it, um, which seems wasteful, but in fact it turns the methane into carbon dioxide, so it, it, it reduces its, its, its global change impact by a factor of 23. So it's worth, it's worth doing, it's worth flaring methane all over the Arctic Ocean.